Show it. Oh, there she goes. Whoa. Oh. All right, welcome back to the build site. I think this morning we're we're gonna take down the second gigantic tree. So let's go see what we've got here. So you, you remember what I said in the first video that nothing from the coconut is wasted. And here's an example. This is one of the trees we took down earlier. <clears throat> so we converted this tree here into wood. And they're able to, using a chainsaw, they can almost get really good dimensional lumber from this tree. And uh, everything from the <laughs> from the base up to the fruit is turned into wood, which we're going to use uh, for the building construction. This is what the coconut lumber looks like after it's been cut. You can see it's you know they're looking for two by fours here, and uh, it's pretty pretty darn good. And uh, believe it or not, this is done using a chainsaw. So these guys are super skilled at what they do. This is the still chainsaw that he uses uh, for everything. Take the tree down and then cut it up into lumber. So right behind me is the was the first large tree, not coconut, but uh, a real tall tree. And this is the second one here coming down. And here's the base of it. This tree is what I'm told it's not really good for anything. It's not hardwood and it's subject to termites and they they live with inside the tree and slowly eat the core out of the tree. So this really won't be any good for anything except uh, maybe making a table. I was going to get some get some cuts out of this large trunk right here. And maybe make some tables but as you can see they they did cut lumber out of this and here, here's a nice piece that this could be a bench but they cut two by four lumber and this piece here could almost be a, a, a four by four and then the rest of the but the trunk is up here. I think they'll probably just cut this up and use it for either charcoal if they can do that or we'll use it for firewood. I'm, I'm not going to get too close and bother these guys but these are the two uh, operators of the chainsaw and they're studying this gigantic tree here deciding which way to take it down and so it's a going to be tricky because you see the, the barracks that is being built back there. The barracks there are temporary barracks. It's going to be four rooms. So they'll store um, dry concrete in, in one of the rooms and then maybe electrical and plumbing and then there'll be a place for sleeping and a kitchen and a CR at the end. These giant pieces of coconut this is the base, uh, the root ball of the coconut tree, and he just sliced it up to make it easier to move around, but certainly can be used temporarily as if I was thinking about a foot rest <laughs> for me when I'm sitting in my chair. And here's kind of an overview. We've got these trees over here down. This one's coming down. This one this one and we're gonna try to save those I know it's a scary thing for me. I would never be up there. But these guys are amazing. I mean, 
as far as workouts, functional workout is, is nothing compared to what the, these guys do every day. Yeah. And not just these guys, but everyday construction workers. They're, uh, they get a full body workout every day and they're just as toned as they can get. I'm kind of jealous. I'm not going to get it too too close up into their business. So I'm sitting on a, a log across the way here. guessing that he's going to <clears throat> use the rope as a pulley and, and uh, pull the chainsaw up while he's up there. like we're gonna have part of the crew put tension on that rope while they take another chunk out of here. Good one. Here's a how big how big we're talking. That's 